What if Thor had gone for the head first? Thor's mistake of not going for the head first was the most pivotal mistake of the Avengers' final showdown with Thanos before he fulfilled his promise of wiping out half of all life. It might be the most pivotal mistake any Avenger ever made in the first four phases in the MCU. If Thor had gone for the head first, Thanos would have died before the snap. Black Panther, Spider-Man, Nick Fury, and Half of All Life wouldn't have died. Ant-Man wouldn't have been stuck in the quantum realm for five years and would have watched his daughter grow up. Hawkeye wouldn't have lost his family, so he wouldn't have become Ronan. There would have been no need to go back in time, so Steve, unfortunately, wouldn't have gone back to Peggy. Peggy would have eventually married and had kids with someone else. Black Widow and Iron Man would not have needed to sacrifice themselves, so they'd still be alive. Iron Man would watch his daughter grow up. After the snap, Bruce Banner had looked back with anger on how Hulk had gotten in his way while fighting Thanos and his army, also known as the Black Order in the source material. The snap is what gave Bruce the drive to make peace with being the Hulk, and why Bruce and the Hulk were reconciled in Endgame. If Thor had gone for the head first, the snap wouldn't have happened, which means that Banner wouldn't have had the resolution to make peace with being the Hulk, which means that Bruce and the Hulk would still be at odds with each other. Thor would have become more arrogant. His desire for revenge, to make Thanos suffer before killing him, to get revenge against Thanos for making Loki suffer before killing him, was what led to this tragedy. It was through this failure that Thor learned humility and the importance of controlling his emotions, of putting the mission's needs before his personal desires. If Thor had gone for the head first, he wouldn't have learned those lessons. He would have gone down in history as the man who killed Thanos. The world would have learned what threat he had saved them from, and people around the globe for decades to come would have adored him for sparing their lives. This attention would make him cockier. He wouldn't have handed his mantle as ruler of Asgard onto Valkyrie. He would have stayed ruler for as long as he could, just as his father had done. After killing Thanos, the Avengers would have all of the Infinity Stones and the Gauntlet in their possession, but they'd still be racing against the clock because Thanos' army would still be actively trying to kill them, and they'd be thirsty to avenge their ruler. The Avengers would rush the Gauntlet and the Infinity Stones to Shuri. She would find a way to use the stones to destroy Thanos' army. Then, she would discover a way to use the stones to destroy the stones without anyone having to die or get seriously injured, thereby protecting Earth and every other planet from ever facing this threat again, as well as stopping the Black Order from hurting anyone else. What do you think would have happened if Thor had gone for the head first? Let me know in the comments below. As always, keep weaving the threads of your stories.